What is up everyone? Welcome back to another video on TPL locks. Today we are reviewing someone who I wouldn't usually review. Because I live in Europe, football, American football is not really big here, but after seeing Last Chance You, this series on Netflix, if you haven't seen it, make sure you watch it because it's really good. Uh, I've decided to review some American football players with dreadlocks. And I found someone who's just right for this channel. Today we are reviewing Cam Newton. Cam Newton, also known as Cameron Jarrell Newton, is a 30-year-old American football quarterback for the Carolina Panthers. There are probably many things I could say about his American football career, but I'm choosing not to. He is the son of Jackie and Cecil Newton Sr. and his father and many members of his family have played American football as well. He started his NFL career without any hair on his head and now he is rocking some luscious Jean-Michel Basquiat looking dreadlocks. Let's review his locks. All right, so we're gonna start off in 2015. If I am not mistaken, this is the year that he started in the NFL. I could be mistaken, but this is the earliest picture that I could find of him without having any hair, so it's a great place to start. From 2015, we jump straight into this picture where you can see that he has a solid head of hair. And you can also see that he is already starting to form those freeform locks. Could have been that he uh, started out with maybe a sponge. Some people use a certain type of sponge on their short hair and when they rub it on their hair, their hair starts to form little curls that can later uh, grow into dreadlocks. Could be that he started using that, I'm not really sure. But here we can clearly see that, especially in the back, if we look here, we can start to see that his hair is probably forming into some good looking semi freeform locks. I think this picture uh, is before the picture we just saw before because here you can see that he just started growing out his hair and he doesn't really have locks here yet. When we jump into this picture, however, we can see it from a little bit more up close where again, you can see that his hair is kind of starting to bud. It's kind of starting to grow together, but not necessarily look like dreadlocks. If we go to the beginning of 2019, however, we can clearly see that he has stopped kind of combing out his hair. He stopped cutting his hair because his hair is getting quite a bit longer and his hair is starting to grow together. So I think this is the point at which most people decide if they want to go the semi freeform route or the, the whole freeform route. Because if you stop pulling apart your hair at this stage, you'll probably end up looking kind of a bit more like Bob Marley. And if you decide to pull them apart, you'll probably end up looking a bit more like Jay-Z who has multiple small locks and a few Congos here and there, but not the whole head of hair kind of growing together. This picture, we can see his hair from the side. And again, he has uh, the first row shaven off so he can get a nice looking lineup. And you can see that in the back here, he's starting to grow like three, kind of big locks and that's probably because when you lie on your hair at night uh, those uh, can combine really quickly whenever i got dreadlocks i could always notice that the locks on the back of my head would form very very quickly because i lie on it a lot it has a lot of friction and the locks in the front where the hair is a bit more fine it takes a bit longer so we see that with him as well in the back you see that these three have formed pretty well and the ones in the front are still kind of a bit thinner and a bit more looking like individual strands of hair if you want to follow him on instagram you can see his handle right here i suggest you do so because this guy has a lot of style we'll get to that later in this video so then this is is probably a recent picture of him where you can see that he's gaining length still but also his hair is really starting to look like locks when he posted this on his Instagram I believe people started commenting that he should cut his hair they didn't like the way it looked and it's probably because not everyone is a fan of this look not everyone is ready for that freeform lion mane look but I think it really does suit him also 
I didn't know him before I was gonna review him, but his face is so, he's so photogenic. He should really become an actor. He's really, he has that great face for that. <laughs> so here's a picture a bit more up close. Uh, and you can see that he's starting to grow like a divide in the hair around his edges and the hair in the middle. Maybe he put something around it, a rubber band, or maybe he looked at Jean-Michel Basquiat and he thought, that is pretty dope. I'm gonna try and emulate that because there is a funny divide between the hair around his edges and the hair on uh, the top of his head. And I'm curious to see how this will grow over time if he will start pulling them apart or whatever he's gonna do with it. Uh, I think it's gonna be an interesting set of locks to say the least. This is a recent picture from his Instagram and here we can again see his hair a little bit more up close. And yeah, it's clear that it looks like he has a few ponytails here and there where the hair is starting to combine. Maybe this is just the natural way of his hair uh, combining as locks. That would be super awesome. Or maybe he's doing this intentionally. And I know that could be the case because he is someone who is so creative when it comes to style. I've got a few pictures of him where you can see that he looks like a straight up pimp. I'm not even kidding. His style is really amazing. So here we go to the first picture. This is something he did for Ralph Lauren Polo. And you can see the comments on Instagram looking like Basquiat. He's really, um, yeah, he looks like the younger brother of Jean-Michel Basquiat. Here we have another picture of him with his amazing style. I think I have a few more pictures I should pull up really quickly. We'll just go to his Instagram because this guy really looks great. If you're into style and you want to have some inspiration, you have to look him up because he looks like a pimp most of the time. For example, if we look at this picture, he's wearing a great jacket. Even his kid has great style. <laughs> look at the little sunglasses. And then he's looking like a dandy. And this picture as well. So I think the combination of his sense of fashion and his locks, I hope he keeps growing them and I hope he will kind of give us back that style that Jean-Michel Basquiat left behind because it's big shoes to fill, but this guy looks like he could do it. All right, that's the last picture. So if you have any suggestions of uh, American football players that you want me to review, because I know there's a lot of them who have locks, let me know their names in the comment below. Also, let me know how you like this video. It's a bit shorter than most videos, but I really enjoy just jumping on whatever interests me and showing you guys people's amazing locks. Give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.